What's up everybody? CJ here again with V-Rail and the Stay at Home DIY series, day number four. So if you've been tuned in with us on our Instagram stories, you will have been seeing that over the past three days, we've been renovating and remodeling our deck, getting ready for the installation of our express cable railing system. Just a reminder, that ships within one to two days and you can follow along and do it with me too. So why are we doing express cable railing? It's modernizing the look of our back deck. It's opening up the view. If you've been following along with us, you will have known that there used to be these big wooden railings that were built over 20 years ago that were just along the perimeter. There was a seating bench, and there's just a beautiful view of the river that was really being obstructed. And so what we're doing is we're really wanting to open up the view, which is why we're installing express cable railing. Yesterday, we were prepping the deck, getting ready for stain. So we're transforming the deck, we're getting it all ready for cable railing. You can't just go straight to cable railing. In our case, we had to do a lot of demo work, we had to do a lot of remodeling. This home was built in the 1960s and there's a lot of things that have to be brought up to date. So what I'd been doing yesterday was power washing and using um, Restore Deck. It's a really great product. This is the stain that we're gonna be using. Today we're gonna to be using this power sander. We're gonna be taking out, there's a yellow strip of paint that's a distinguisher for one of the steps that's happening. We're getting rid of that. We're gonna to continue to bring you some tips and tricks and show you the process that I'm going through in transforming my deck to modernize it and get ready for the view that's gonna be open with Express Cable Railing. So don't forget, stay home, stay healthy, stay tuned.